Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well and enjoying your day today, whether it's actually today, tomorrow, next week, or two years from now, doesn't matter. I wish you a fantastic day either way. Now, before we get into the review of this awesome Cars 3 Miss Further, I have a couple things I want to mention and kind of go over. But before that, I want to give you guys the new poll options for next week's Cars 3 review as always and kind of explain how the previous poll played out because it was quite different from any poll before. So obviously, as you can see, Miss Further won, but she didn't win by that much. She received about 780 votes, which was like 56% of the people who voted. Now, usually the car who wins receives a lot more votes and is kind of more widely wanted by the viewers, like 80%. But the next generation Nitro Racer was right behind her with like 30% of the votes. So I know a lot of people want to see this guy reviewed, so I'm sure he will win this poll. So the options for this week's poll are the next generation Nitro Racer number 28. We have Smokey, who has always been in the poll, kind of coming in third place most of the time. Then we have Bobby Swift making a return to the poll, which is the Octane Gain number 19 racer. And of course, we have a non-racer here, Natalie Certain, who's going to be in a two-pack with Chick Hicks. And last, but definitely not least, or maybe he will be the last one, I'm not entirely sure, but this is the Tank Coat number 36 racer, who recently received a name of Reb Meeker, so that is awesome. And that leads me into the things I want to mention to you guys before we start reviewing Miss Ritter here. So, to start off, there has been a lot of Cars 3 news. We saw the first Cars 3 packaging, and it just has a Cars 3 logo on there because they had like this whole panel at the New York Toy Fair. And on the back of that package, we saw some names like Red Meeker. I think the other one was like, I'm not, was it Bear Buckington or Buck Barrington? I think it was something like that. For the Viewzine Racer, we saw Nally Surin and of course Smokey on the back of that package as well. I might be showing some pictures here, but I don't want to get in trouble if I do. So we'll have to see about that. And then I haven't been doing many videos lately because I'm just so busy during the week. It's so hard for me to get out videos during the week because every night when I get home from school, I'm doing homework and the little time I have left is just kind of me collecting myself and just enjoying the minutes I have. So I'm watching YouTube videos, catching up on my Google Plus community, replying to comments, you know, stuff like that, that doesn't require much brain activity or like setup because this video kind of takes some stuff and all my videos do for that matter. And then the other thing which is pretty important to my channel is that the Q&A number 12 is no longer available to view. There was a problem with it and I'll explain that when I re-upload the Q&A. So if you want to know why I took it down, I'm going to put it back up. You know, you can check out that video. I explain it. There was a problem with one of the questions, so I had to edit something out, but it's all okay. I'll upload that. Q&A number 13 is still on schedule for, I think, March 26th. So look forward to that. And now, sorry for the wait, but we're getting into the review of Miss Fritter. So she is absolutely amazing, unlike anything we have seen before in the Cars line. She's kind of similar to some of the monster trucks we've gone before, but you know, as you can see just by that comparison, I will compare them a little bit more later on in the video but she is very different she is a school bus and you can see that if you get her in the future you can kind of tell in this video when I do some size comparisons with Lane McQueen I mean she is huge and definitely in scale with these cars because even though cars would not really fit in a school bus I don't really know how that works in the cars universe like kids climbing into a school bus like Obviously, it doesn't seem like that works like, you know, taxis, buses, airplanes. I mean, airplanes, those are bigger. So that's a different story. But buses, you know, stuff like this, it's kind of hard to explain. So I guess that's a topic for a different video. But if you think about this, McQueen's like a normal sized car, right? So and then think of a normal sized car in comparison to a school bus. And that's what you get. So I'm very happy that she's not under scale because, yeah, Mattel kind of tends to do that 
with these bigger type of cars. So I'm glad that they did it with Miss Further. And she is all metal. She is legit metal. The only parts that aren't metal is the base, the tires, and the horns here, which is absolutely unbelievably amazing because for a lot of cars nowadays that are this size and like capacity, like take Dr. Feelbad for example, they only made this cab portion right here metal and the back portion here where the ambulance, the person in need would go is plastic. So, you know, you think that if they were trying to cut costs like that much, they would make this front portion of Miss Frither metal on the back portion plastic. But no, they didn't cheap out on this one at all. So I have to say this is one of my favorite cars from the Cars 3 line so far because they went absolutely all out. I'm super happy about that. And now let's just get into the nitty gritty details. So you can see her expression, very mean, kind of like aggravated. She's like ready to just destroy something. So that leads me to believe that she will appear in the derby scenes in Cars 3. We know there will be some sort of muddy derby as we saw in the trailer. McQueen is number 15 for some reason. He's super muddy. It's at the Thunder Hollow Speedway. And from the information we know so far, it's likely to say, it's safe to say that Miss Ritter would most fit into that scene like it's not like you're gonna see her at the piston car race rooting on McQueen no she'll probably be like the Frank of Cars 3 now if you guys don't remember Frank from Cars 1 he appeared when McQueen and Mater were tipping over tractors then Frank came out acting as like the boss cow and started chasing them down it was actually a super intense scene because McQueen got dangerously close to the blades on Frank and nearly got his spoiler sawed off. But fortunately, McQueen and Mater did escape. However, McQueen then had a nightmare about Frank where he won the Piston Cup by churning up the King and Chick Hicks with his blades. So absolutely insane and very scary and frightening, especially the little kids. I was only five when I saw Cars 1 and yeah, I was definitely scared of Frank. So I think Miss Further could have that same effect and definitely fill the shoes of Frank. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. I mean, look at them. They're both super frightening looking and they both have horns of some sort. Frank's horns are up here and in comparison to Miss Further's, they are tiny. I mean, look at Miss Further's horns, aka smokestacks, I guess, but super awesome. I just cannot wait to see, you know, what she does in Cars 3, but you know, that is just speculation. All we really know is that she will be released as a deluxe, which is a given because how can you fit her in a single package? And I know she will fill up the entire deluxe packaging as well. So that again relates back to Mattel doing a fantastic job with this release. Now, before we get into the small details with our license plates here and all that great stuff, which is even better than what we've been talking about, do want to tell you guys where I got her from. So there once upon a time was a seller called Snapdragon Toys on eBay and she or he was located in China. I don't know how they got all these cars, three cars, but they did somehow from a factory and had like a connection. I don't know. Doesn't really matter, but she sold, he sold, whatever. They sold a lot of cars, three cars making bank. And then one day, all the Cars 3 listings were gone, and then she had no items for sale. I think it's a she, so that's why I keep saying she, by the way. And then she changed her name to Seemingly Play Toys, and that's where the story ends. She has currently no items listed for sale, absolutely no Cars 3 cars, that's for sure, because I'm pretty sure Mattel, whatever, Disney, Pixar, they caught this person because all the Cars 3 diecast, at least from the first wave, are not supposed to be out in stores until May 1st, which is still like two months away. So makes sense as to why they were taken down. And I was lucky to get a bunch of them before Pixar, Disney, Mattel, whatever caught that seller. So unfortunately, that means that if you're watching this video now, you cannot buy any Cars 3 cars. There was a new Cars 3 car from a different seller recently pop up on eBay called Jimbo. And that lasted a very short time. The price started at $20, went up to $30, and then they were just all gone. So 
Right now, no Cars 3 stuff available, but actually, I shouldn't say that. Cars 3 diecasts are not available, but there's actually a lot of Cars 3 stuff in stores, like kites and bikes and other weird bath toys and stuff like that. So, it's definitely starting to hit stores, but these actual diecasts, they won't be out until May 1st unless someone doesn't, you know, abide by the rules, which is entirely possible as well. But you know, it's rather slim and unlikely. But, you know, I've had it happen to me before with cars too, so it's definitely possible. And that's pretty much all for the introduction, all the preliminary stuff I want to talk about because I know people want to know, especially new viewers, because I say that every review of a Cars 3 car, but people, you know, they don't watch through the entire video or they're a new viewer and that's completely fine. But now let's get on to the little details on the side of Miss Further. So, of course, with spray paint, it says Miss Further there. Then we got like a sign. There was, it say, no parking in this lane or something like that. No parking in this lane. And now this is the super crazy part. Well, first, I guess we'll go with the stop sign here, which, of course, all buses have, you know, to, you know, stop other cars from passing the bus. But this one, you know, it's not just a stop sign. It has, like, blades around it and super scary. It's not your typical stop sign, but it does flip out, which is awesome, and it's printed on both sides. She's apparently number 58, which is kind of weird. Don't really know why. Maybe that's the amount of cars that she has killed i don't know but look at all the license plates she has super crazy i mean look at them all and they actually are all carified states so what i mean by that is one of them here is rhode island i think it might be on the other side but there are a bunch of them one of them's like illinois like illa and then oil because, you know, they're carifying the names, which is awesome and very, very creative. I live in Illinois, so that's super awesome to see. And now I needed like a magnifying glass to read these, and I couldn't even re read some of them. So it's going to be kind of hard to see them on the video, but I'll do my best. You guys can, you know, get the picture, and this will encourage you to buy them. That looks like a California license plate, that white one right there. But on the other side, there's a carified name of California, so it's kind of weird there. Because I know there are plenty of license plates on cars that say California without it being carified. But on the other side, there's actually a carified name of California, so it's kind of weird. It says Park Avenue right there. Don't really know how that relates to anything. Maybe it's something, I don't know, a part of the movie. Let me see. I'll put this up to my face. Yeah, there's the Rhode Island one. It's that green one right there. It's going to be super hard to focus in because it's so small. I'm sorry. I need to get like a super awesome camera to focus in on that stuff. But you guys get the idea. I'll just read off some of them. Yeah, the California one's actually that blue one right there. It's like California. Not entirely sure. Maybe it's like can. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. The red one right there is Illinois. And Trans Michigan, like Trans Michigan, you know, and it's Trans Michigan, so that's cool. South Coilina, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pennsylvania, oh, that's awesome. So yeah, you really need like a magnifying glass to really see all these, so it's definitely impossible to show them on the camera here, but I can read them to you guys. Rhode Island. Here's the back. This is actually a very nicely detailed back. It's further time. That's probably going to be something said quite a bit in the movie, especially during this derby scene. And her license plate even is further time, especially, or actually it's abbreviated FRTR-TM for further time. And you can see some decals that she has. That one up there is actually super weird. You have like a rainbow bolt that kind of looks like the bolt on Lightning McQueen there. So I don't know, maybe she's a fan or something. I don't even know if she'll talk in the movie. You know, if she's a Frank equivalent, you know, those don't really talk, but she seems like she'll talk. And you got school bus ran up there. And now mine's a bit damaged. You might see some chips and whatnot, but that's okay. I knew it was going to be used because that is why, you know, this isn't going to go out on the stores on May 1st because it's all damaged. It's a reject, kind of like a second, as they like to call them. Here's the base if you're interested. She has like double tires in the back here. Awesome. And of course, they have like wrenches painted across them, which is awesome. Really, really cool. And she just has all these license plates strung up on the windows that are all boarded up with like iron gates and stuff. Super weird. 
Super cool though. Let me know what you guys think of Miss Further. Just so weird and so just out there. We've never seen anything like this before. Now I know some collectors won't like this because it's so out there, just so weird, but I personally really, really like it. She's like chains on her hood there and she is just like, she's ready to wreck something. And of course the horns are not removable, they're plastic. You know, you'd think they're smokestacks, but there's no like exit departure place for the smoke so I guess they're just horns to make her look like a ram she kind of looks like a ram these are like ram horns or something I don't know but just absolutely amazing die cast Mattel 10 out of 10 with Miss Frither just absolutely amazing we do gotta compare her to some other monster trucks. I mean, she's not really a monster truck. She's pretty much just like a normal school bus, not really hoisted up. Like a regular school bus would not be any bigger or hoisted up any more than this. So she's not really like a monster school bus like I originally anticipated. Just kind of like a regular school bus that's just super weird and scary. But here's like a monster ambulance. Like this is from the monster truck made the short if you guys don't remember here is a monster ice cream truck There are some other ones as well like a monster some mat mixer all of which I will be reviewing in the future on my channel So stay tuned for that if you'd like to see my review of ice creamer here Which is the monster ice cream truck. I did review him in the past in 2016 believe sometime in August as a birthday request for my friend Dusty Vanderson. So check that out in the description if you're interested. Now one more comparison that I want to do before we close off for today. Now this is Chewy the Bulldozer. Choi, Chewy, C-H-U-Y. I think that's Chewy. Not entirely sure. So I'm sorry about that. But they're both yellow and they're both kind of scary. I mean if you check out the side here of the Bulldozer, Chewy. He has seven cars that are painted, which is most likely the amount of cars that he has killed, taken out. I wouldn't really like to say killed, but maybe they're just taken out. We'll just say taken out for now, which is very similar to all the license plates that Miss Further has strung up on the side of her. Like, how did she get those license plates? Did you rip them off of her victims? Probably. So McQueen, you gotta stay away. Or maybe, you know, it'll actually turn the tables and she'll be going after Jackson Storm. I mean, who knows? It'll be super exciting to see how this scene actually plays out. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry for kind of rambling on, but there are definitely a lot of things I wanted to talk about. And to end off with a cool kind of scene here. Yeah, they're going to be friends by the end of the movie. I can already tell you. This will be Team McQueen. Team McQueen right here. Awesome, awesome. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Feel free to vote in the poll for next week's review. Pretty sure that Nightwade's going to win because he's always been right there number two for the past couple weeks. So, and sorry for this video being late. I was just super busy last night, which is when I should have recorded it. But yeah, I was super busy and just didn't have time to record it. So I'm up in the morning, kind of early, but you know, wanna get the video out for you guys. I have some super awesome reviews planned for you guys, like a 124 Lightning McQueen, Road Trip Max, some prototypes, some Star Wars stuff. Like I really wanna expand my channel and do some different things. But of course there will still be cars reviews from 2017, like case A or case B, that's all coming in the future, so stay tuned for that. And of course, the Q&A re-upload as well. So I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye now.